I'm feeling festive, I'm so excited, let's do this. Best albums of the year uh, in 2017, I'm ready to finally give out my list. Uh, hi everyone, Bob is in the house by the way. As always, as normal, we are ready to talk about music. Uh, we're not gonna listen today uh, to any music, but we're gonna just you know, uh, share our excitement uh, of the past experiences we had this year. So, uh, I finally shaped the list. Uh, I was making a lot of adjustments, but finally uh, I did my thing, you know what I had to do. 35 albums, uh, that's the number I have uh, for you today. Uh, and uh, let's just get into it. At number 35 we have Kelani with Sweet Sexy Savage and uh, it's a dope album, dope R&B album, if you haven't checked it out yet uh, and you are an R&B fan, uh, what the fuck you're doing with your life? <laughs> but in all serious note though, definitely worth your time, check it out, give it a listen. Uh, number 34 we have Galantis, uh, cool uh, electronic uh, album, uh, I enjoyed. Um, uh, and I have, by the way, this section of this um, list, it's kind of like an electronic paradise, I call it, because from 34 to 31, yeah, it's all electronic albums, sort of. Uh, so at number 33 we have uh, Charlie XCX uh, recently. Uh, reacted to this uh, mixtape, uh, enjoyed it. Uh, yeah, I know it's you know there are a couple mixtapes over here in this list because I didn't want to do like a separate video to mixtape, separate video to album. It's just uh, made uh, made it in all one video. At number thirty two, Kaigo uh, Stargazing EP, uh, definitely dope bangers uh, on this thing, uh, like dope soulful bangers. I mean, you know. Uh, we have It Ain't Me, we have Stargazing, we have This Town, uh, definitely, you know, dope tracks all around this uh, EP. Uh, Avi Avicii uh, at number 31st, at number 31, <laughs> uh, Without You, uh, was my favorite song, but actually Avicii 01 EP, I mean, um, uh, on this list uh, is number 31. Uh, all songs I liked actually from that uh, EP, all six songs. Uh, that was definitely tight EP and uh, that was a good listen. Uh, now uh, we have finished with the Electronic Paradise section of this list. Uh, number 30, we have Scissor Control. Uh, definitely a Grammy worthy album, uh, another army album by the way. Uh, SZA with her unique sound, uh, unique um, delivery, uh, voice, of course, um, you know, it was an amazing listen, for sure. At number 29 we have Eminem with Revival, although uh, for me it's a still disappointment because I did expect a lot more from Revival than I got. Uh, Revival grew on me a bit. Uh, and I do like, um, you know, at least uh, half of the album, you know, like uh, songs, uh, but half of the album I still like skip. Um, but like not including Eminem, my favorite artist would have been Crime for me. Like really, I um, it should have been like number one spot <laughs> if I did like uh, Eminem. Uh, usually, you know, it's like album of the year for me, but this time it's really, for me, this, it was a disappointment. Uh, but it's still on here. Uh, at number 28, uh, Gorillaz, uh, and the album is Humans. Uh, 26 tracks, I mean, it was pretty, like, overload of the tracks a little bit. They could have been, uh, make more focused album, but however, uh, of course, the tracks were still good. Uh, most of the tracks I liked. Uh, it was good listen for sure. Uh, at number 27, I didn't expect to like this album, but we have Pretty Girls Like Trap Music by 2 Chains, uh, hip hop record. And we are getting into, by the way, a hip hop section of this list. Uh, so 2 Chains, uh, you know, I did enjoy 2 Chains music, you know, like uh, as a feature, but not like I didn't listen to his projects as an album. And I gave it a listen uh, because my friend suggested, and I was pretty, uh, you know, pleasant, uh, surprised with the result, you know, uh, what 2 Chains did on here. Uh, at number 26, we have Logic, Everybody. Uh, good album, just uh, nothing gonna 
nothing else to add just a good album um, but not as great as it could have been unfortunately but still decent listen for sure uh, Joey Badass, All American Badass that album actually uh, did a great um, you know the it g- delivered a great uh, message um, you know it had a great concept uh, and I think it had like more, much more powerful uh, polit- politics like politician message <laughs> Mes- like basically uh, it was about politics uh, and uh, racial problems in America and did much better job than uh, Eminem Survival tried to do on here. So Joy Badass at number 25 with All American Badass, dope listen, dope album. Uh, at number 24 we have Brockhampton Saturation uh, 1. <laughs> uh, Brockhampton, uh, we're gonna talk about them a little bit more because this isn't uh, the last uh, mentioning of Brockhampton in this video. Uh, I know that maybe most of uh, my audience don't know what Brockhampton is, who Brockhampton are. Um, I did only Saturation 2, uh, I react to only Saturation 2 out of uh, the, all three albums you know, out of, um, in this trilogy. Um, but you know they definitely like was one of the most like pleasant surprises of 2017 and they delivered great music uh, but we're gonna talk about them more cuz uh, spoiler alert saturation 2 and saturation 3 are also in this list uh, at number 23 we have Sam Smith the thrill of it all Sam Smith my man like dope album uh, I love almost all of the, all of the songs in here. Uh, definitely was a great listen to me. Um, enjoyed the fuck out of this <laughs> album. Definitely, uh, man can sing, and the production, the songs were good too. Uh, at twenty two, we have N E R D Nerd, uh, aka No One Ever Really Dies. Uh, also, uh, recently came out, uh, but. You know, Lemon and 1000, I already enjoyed uh, so much, uh, and I listened to them so much that, you know, I already including this thing uh, in this list, and uh, other tracks didn't disappoint either, uh, you know, the whole project that I liked, you know, so uh, this project, by the way, you know, uh, I do like them as a whole thing, you know, like, uh, even though maybe uh, there are tracks that I don't really like, or I can skip as a as a whole thing, you know, like as a project. Uh, definitely great listens for me. And uh, for example, there were albums like Katy Perry's Sweetness, where um, you know I enjoy a lot. Um, Chain to the Rhythm, or Bon Appetit, or Swish Swish. But other tracks, unfortunately, they do nothing to me. So. Katy Perry's Witness, for example, is not on this list because I don't like it as a whole project, but I, I just do like the singles. So, um, you know, that's the criteria for the best albums of 2017. Uh, at number uh, 21, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Lord, uh, Melodrama, uh, could not, not include this album because even though I only like listened to this uh, <laughs> one time, you know, as a whole thing, uh, when I was doing the reaction, I did enjoy the production of this album, and I was like, I was like shocked how Lord matured uh, as an artist, and uh, she can do all these things, like you know, she's capable of doing that, you know, like uh, we all were surprised, um, and. Uh, for sure, well deserved uh, Grammy nomination for the best album of the year, and uh, you know she. Even though, like as I already mentioned, if you have uh, heard me about this topic, uh, talking about this topic before, uh, I don't really, you know, I didn't see myself coming back to this project, but you know I can still appreciate what she did over here. So definitely. This album should be on this list, uh, and uh, it's uh, it landed on uh, spot twenty one. Album number twenty, we have Miguel War and Leisure. Uh, I didn't react to this project, uh, but I did listen to it uh, on my own spare time. Definitely enjoyed it. Uh, a lot of juicy, cool tracks by Miguel. Uh, give it a listen. 
uh, you will not be disappointed I'm sure about that uh, R&B as well by the way uh, but you know this list have a lot of pop and rap and EDM so uh, you know you can find uh, anything you need well except <laughs> rock fans I believe yeah rock um, I'm not really uh, huge on rock now on number 19 we have tell me you love me Demi Lovato Demi Lovato became one of my favorite um, female artists um, you know it, at least in 2017 you know before she wasn't she wasn't um, in my mind you know like as uh, one of the favorites but in 2017 definitely she came out uh, with very strong tracks and with a very strong album over here tell me you love me and I'm actually disappointed to see that it wasn't uh, included uh, in Grammy nominations because she's her album uh, was on September 30th, you know, the last day of uh, Grammy window. So it could have still uh, make it to this uh, 2018 Grammy list. However, it didn't make it, I don't know why. Is it like Coldplay, uh, with all respect to Coldplay, like uh, it's in the P uh, and uh, they got nomination for the best album of the year best pop album of the year but I, I just don't know <laughs> why <laughs> Demi Lovato's project was much better but anyway uh, at number 19 uh, beautiful Demi Lovato uh, well deserved at number 18 we have Paramore after laughter hard times da -da -da -pa -pa -da -pa -da -pa -da -pam. hard times well anyway you can tell uh, by my awful uh, seeing that I do enjoy uh, hard times a lot and also tracks like told you so and fake happy uh, definitely highlights from after laughter uh, dope album no complaints well deserved spot on best albums of 2017 for me number 17 uh, Harry Styles with self-titled album Harry Styles just like the time and the sign of the times Du -du 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 definitely definitely man like oh my god that uh, performance was like one of the best in the year definitely hairstyles pushed the boundaries in the pop industry uh, you know like in such a huge level of uh, pop mainstream music you know we like on the radio for example we don't really listen to like really meaningful tracks you know um, it's just like sort of they have like a similar catchy sound but Harry Styles just provided such a beautiful track and it was played on the radio um, surprisingly you know for example Lord's um, songs from uh, Melodrama it wasn't played on the radio um, you know so um, it's pretty weird that um, meaningful track some meaningful tracks like Sign of the Times made into the radio, some didn't. Praying did by Kesha. Um, interesting, interesting. Uh, but I just like, like, I love the fact that, you know, Harry Styles pushed himself uh, and uh, created dope album. Um, besides Sign of the Times, there's Sweet Creature, Kiwi, and other, other like dope tracks on this definitely check it out if you haven't uh, one of my uh, favorite pop albums of this year surprisingly <laughs> like i've uh, never been uh, a fan of one direction but yeah the man man did great thing Gr man did great things in this year uh, at number 16 we have division with morning after uh another um you know album I didn't react unfortunately uh, but I didn't listen uh, to it in my own spare time uh, and I gotta say this project was amazing fantastic dope beats beautiful uh, singing definitely check it out check it out Mwah. worth listening uh, and uh, and there's like a track uh, let me find it by the way yeah, the track called Mood. Damn. Like, much better than Taylor Swift's Look What You Made Me Do. Like, amazing, fantastic song. 
uh, one of my favorites from this uh, album, Mood, definitely, man, like, just give it a listen if you haven't, uh, making some good recommendations over here, if you, uh, if you trust Bob, if you trust Bob's taste, just give it a listen, give this album a listen. Uh, at number 15 we have uh, Migos, Culture, uh, hip hop record, um, Migos, you know, they are basically shaped the culture with, its, with their sound, uh, you know, that sort of trap rap uh, sound which is very popular among a lot of rappers uh, these days uh, it came from Migos uh, back in the days in 2013 14 and other people just start to uh, shape that sound uh, well you know like uh, Kanye West's Yeezus was also another push to that sound uh, but people are saying that Migos are you know, the creators of this trap rap sound, and I personally do enjoy this sort of uh, rap. So, uh, culture, I did listen to it a lot. Um, definitely, um, for me, it was a great listen and a well deserved spot on the best albums of 2017. By the way, it's just all my opinion, my uh, albums, you know. So, if you didn't see uh, your albums, uh, so far, um, just let me know in the comments and uh, give me your uh, albums of 2017. You know, so I gotta, we just gotta, you know, um, share our taste and share our uh, fantastic albums, basically. So, uh, track 14, we have Lil Pump, <laughs> Lil Pump, self-titled uh, album Lil Pump. Uh, I just enjoyed this um, mixtape uh, or album um, it was it was dope like it was, it was just like a hyper album that I needed at the time where when it, when it came out basically in September I really needed that um, like anger or excitement like push uh, to get through the, like the things that I needed to get through um, it had to do with the emotions, it had to do with my, uh, you know, abundance of work that I need to finish at that time. And the Lil Pump's uh, mixtape at that time was a really big push and motivation, kept me going really like, uh, like tracks like, I'm the youngest flexor, ooh, I'm the youngest flexor, yeah, like with, with uh, Gucci Mane or uh, like uh, Gucci Gang for sure, or uh, boss or like flex like ooh yeah yeah like <laughs> you know it was just like a it was really cool I I did enjoy that uh, mixtape and you can say whatever you want but it was a nice listen definitely <laughs> at number 13 we have uh, Kesha Rainbow uh, pop amazing record that we all didn't expect from Kesha completely different sound uh, Kesha didn't do those things before, it was more like EDM flavored uh, songs. Here we have ballads, uh, soulful tracks, we have country music, we have uh, freaking uh, like a rock uh, flavored tracks. So it was just a roller coaster, and I love it. I love this album, definitely one of the strongest uh, in 2017, and, I, and I'm supporting. Uh, Kesha for the best pop solo album of this year like in Grammys like definitely it's gonna be deserved if she's gonna win this album uh, that nomination so uh, Kesha Rainbow number 13 number 12 have Brockhampton Saturation 2 uh, as I told you you know um, more saturation is gonna be here, uh, Saturation 1 is wasn't that great for me, but Saturation 2 definitely, like, uh, that's when I was, like, I fell in love with Brockhampton's music. Um, Saturation 2 was, uh, like, for me, like, it was a level up from Saturation 1, and I did enjoy a lot uh, Saturation 2 songs. Uh, Brockhampton is just amazing, fantastic, and I'm gonna talk about them more when Saturation 3 will come. So, at number 11 we have Daniel Caesar Freudian. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> that album. That album, man. That album. Like, 
Oh my god, that album was like one of the best of the year. Oh, damn it. Such a good album, such a good record. Couldn't stop playing it. Uh, gr great uh, soulful tracks and like just the production, just like mwah, mwah, mwah. Like, it's just like, you, you could just like at night put that music and then just relax and like think about your relationship or think about you know anything you want actually but it's just like so it was just so dope like you know those tracks you know those songs where you just put on and just think about life that's Frudine <laughs> here <laughs> you know here <laughs> definitely <laughs> listen listen to that album if you haven't uh, you are missing out like Frudine definitely but uh, great great album and uh yeah um, it can be by the way a morning sex playlist if you are old enough to have sex um i'm i'm jealous i mean i can also i mean i'm old enough but uh, i don't have it <laughs> yet so, but, but uh put it in the morning um in the morning uh, with your um significant other just uh, make a surprise i'm telling you if she or he uh, gonna listen to those lyrics, definitely, man. Um, you know, expect some great things coming out. You know. Anyway, <laughs> uh, let's come back to the list, and we are at the top ten. Number ten, we have Vince Staples, Big Fish Theory. Uh, dope, 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 amazing, amazing, fantastic, incredible production on this thing. Um, if you like uh, EDM, if you like electronic music, uh, and hop on this for sure. Um, and not only electronic though, this is uh, Vince Staples, this is a rapper. Uh, rapper uh, rapping on those freaking powerful, fantastic beats, electronic beats, uh, beats and it's just like, whoa, whoa, like slow down, like what is going on? It's like, but at the same time, it was so dope to listen to. Ah. Ah. Yeah, forgot to say, <laughs> bang, banger alert, forgot to mention banger alert, you know, like dope, dope songs, dope album. Check it out, like I was bumping this shit a lot. Uh, so uh, rank, um, rank come down. <laughs> Sorry, it's just like the tracks are listed over here as well in my list. Uh, one of my favorites is Rain Come Down and uh, Big Fish uh, from Big Fish Theory. <coughs> uh, excuse me. Number nine, we have Big Fi Big Fish, <laughs> Big Sean. <laughs> I decided. Uh, my channel started with this video, uh, the reaction video uh, to this album. I decided. Um, at February 3rd uh, came out I did my reaction and I uploaded it I think on February 4th and that's when my channel started uh, I did this, uh, did this reaction because uh, Eminem was coming out uh, on this thing you know as a feature uh, with no favors turned out uh, to be an amazing track by the way uh, and uh, the album it was good it was good definitely Big Sean had a great year strong year and uh, I became even more uh, obsessed with his music um, in 2017. So, good job, Big Sean. <claps> Applauding to you. Uh, Majid Jordan at number eight, The Space Between. Dope album, dope album. But, like, Majid Jordan is just like one, um, you know, became. Uh, another one of my favorites. I have a lot of favorites, as you, say, as you can say uh, at this point. But um, really, Maggie Jordan is a duo, Canadian duo, uh, with their self-titled album, Maggie Jordan. Um, really, I fell in love with that record at that time. Really needed uh, to listen to that uh, record um, in my life. You know, really needed that record in my life at that time in 2016. And I was really waiting for the new album. And uh, this album didn't disappoint at all. I think they even uh, did uh, one step ahead, you know, like they progressed, which is nice. So, Magic Jordan at number eight. At number seven, we have uh, the last pop album I'm gonna mention in this list. Uh, so, best pop album in my opinion, I guess. Uh, I just listened to it 
uh, most of the time uh, among the pop albums. Uh, this is the most listened. Um, I listen to it the most. Ed Sheeran, uh, The White, and uh, yeah, every track is is great. And every track was great uh, uh, in that album. I I enjoyed it a lot, uh, and I was listening to it a lot. Uh, Ed Sheeran is amazing. He's a fantastic performer. Uh, he's an amazing person, um, and uh, you know all the best uh, in upcoming future for Ed Sheeran. I wish him, you know, a dope New Year. Uh, you know, uh, all the best wishes, and to every artist actually on this uh, list. Um, but and to all you guys, but again, uh, I'm just like uh, emphasizing because like Ed Sheeran is uh, Ed Sheeran's music is dope. Uh, he's one of the greatest at this point in pop, and this album is also fantastic. All right, at number six we have Drake, More Life. Uh, you know this compilation. I was waiting for it a lot, a lot of time, uh, and it finally came out uh, in March of. 2017 and we got 22 tracks uh, and most of the tracks were great so and I did listen to it a lot and I know that you know mm, a lot of people are already not so hyped about Drake's music and they are pretty cold about Drake's music at this point but uh, more life it was just an, an enjoyable listen to me and uh, at number six, well deserved. <laughs> a lot of tracks like Portland, Blam, and Passion Fruit, and uh, Get It Together, uh, Glow with Kanye West. You know, I could I can go on and on. Galchester, dope tracks, dope tracks. What can I say? At number five, we have uh, Jay Z's 444. Uh, you know, I'm not usually a big fan of Jay Z, but this album was great. Um, and sonically and lyrically everything was fire and well deserved uh, uh, Grammy nominations uh, Jay-Z has the most Grammy nominations uh, this year he has uh, eight and we'll see how many he will win uh, from this thing at number four we have Tyler the creator flower boy I've been kissing white boys since 2004 find some time Find some time to do something. Who that boy? Who that is? Who that boy? Who that is? It's like, you know, it's just like, I can go on and on. Like, pothole, watch out for the pothole. <laughs> With Jaden like, oh, all the songs are dope. Fantastic banger, Flower Boy is, oh, such a fantastic album. Such a fantastic album. You can even imagine if you haven't heard this, definitely hop on this. Hop on this, I'm telling you, Flower Boy, please, please. Uh, it's hip hop, uh, and if you don't know, I mean, if you don't enjoy hip hop, I can understand why you were, you will not be excited about Flower Boy, but the production is like all these instruments, like sonically, it's just so beautiful, beautiful record. If you enjoy jazz, you know, saxophones, uh, you know, like all of these interesting instruments, uh, blues rhythm you know like flower boy is like on production is so beautiful and just check it out check it out definitely mwah, 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 mwah. fantastic fantastic can't say enough good words about flower boy enjoyed it the fuck out of this thing we're uh, listening to it months and months and months at number three we have Brock Hampton <laughs> saturation three uh, this album came out really very recently and I was actually listening to it the first time uh, when I was flying to um, Moscow uh, right now I'm in Uzbekistan but uh, I had a flight from Los Angeles to Moscow and from Moscow to Uzbekistan to over here and um, here uh, Saturation 3 I was very excited about it but I didn't have time to react on camera and uh, Saturation 3 is the best project uh, out of all saturations, definitely. Again, like a level up for Brockhampton. Uh, they definitely like 
shaped the culture they did it for the culture man like 15 people um the story is beautiful like 15 people uh gathered created the boy band uh and i love how they mentioned like best boy band since one direction like it was just like so cool like it's so cool to listen to brockhampton and a lot of them uh different people uh, like incredibly different demograph demographics you know uh from young kids to older generation they all enjoy brockhampton's music and which is fantastic and i like Bra brockhampton was a highlight uh of this year for sure if like uh, for those people who uh discovered brockhampton who knew about brockhampton with about what was going on you know in half a year they did three great albums which is fantastic like i don't know like their uh, work ethic was insane and uh, i just uh, like 2017 was uh, you know uh, if not the best you know like one of the best um years in music just for brockhampton like just uh, like Brockham, like <laughs> you started believing in humanity because of Brockham, <laughs> like people from different ethics, um, yeah, ethnicities just can collaborate and do such an amazing things and record such an amazing music and help each other to grow as a person, as people, uh, in the best way possible, anyway. Uh, love them, love them, uh, check them out if you haven't. At number two, I have uh, Calvin Harris, Funk Wave Bounces, Volume 1, and uh, this thing is freaking fire. All 10 tracks are dope. Uh, it was a summer uh, hit for me, you know, like summer album uh, to me. I was listening a whole summer to this uh, thing. And uh, yeah, Calvin Harris was one of my favorite DJs. Uh, like, it was always David Guetta as my favorite DJ and then Kelly Harris was a second but maybe Kelly Harris is overshadowing the idiot at this point but um, for me but yeah Kelly Harris dope album can't wait for Funk Wave Bounces volume 2 if uh, he's gonna release it uh, and finally what's the best album of the year uh, for me at least man I um, couldn't I was thinking a lot uh, and when I was thinking when I was creating this list I immediately thought of this album but I was thinking uh, can someone uh, which album basically can top this one and I <laughs> didn't find it I didn't I really didn't find it and uh, I just like hands down I couldn't um, you know uh, find a substitute for the best album of the year um, and I guess it's really it's that obvious. It's really uh, well deserved. It's uh, Kendrick Lamar, damn. Uh, at number one, uh, King Kendrick, Kung Fu Kenny, um, created another masterpiece which I enjoyed. Um, I listened to this thing unhealthy amount of times, and. Uh, like from the end from the start to the finish and then from the end to the start <laughs> like because there was uh rever reverse album theory you know if you listen to uh down from the back to the beginning it's like we you will get completely another meaning of the album so it was like that but i guess it's just like a uh, fan theories but uh, it was still another feel, like it gave uh, another feel to the album, of course, any album, <laughs> if you listen to it that way, you, you will get another feeling, but it was a really dope uh, year uh, because of Kendrick Lamar's Dan, a lot of uh, memes as well came out from this thing, uh, like, uh, and of course the single Humble was one of the greatest songs of 2017, so... I mean, hands down to Kendrick Lamar. <laughs> Kendrick Lamar, uh, thank you again for another masterpiece. Uh, you never disappoint, and I love you. <laughs> I love you, dude. Uh, and that's the al yeah, that's the albums uh, that I have for you guys. Uh, did you enjoy the list? Did you enjoy this video? If you did, hit the like button if you like this video, and also uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, what was your picks? What do you uh, 
What did you enjoy in 2017? What were your albums? Let's have a conversation uh, about albums. I'm definitely uh, excited about this list uh, and I'm glad that I shared with you guys uh, my picks. And we're gonna end it at that. Best singles, best songs of the year uh, video is coming soon as well. So stay tuned, subscribe to this channel and I will see you guys in the next one. Merry Christmas and uh, happy holidays. Пока. Хайер, ау фидерзейн, аревидерчи, адьос, чао, чау, аврюар, хорофис, аньон, гудбай.